In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure the rate limiting feature of App Expert. Let's begin. To configure the rate limiting feature of App Expert, we'll drill down under App Expert to rate limiting. There, we'll begin by defining our selector, in other words, how we're going to count or what events we're going to be counting. So I'll click the Add button here and create a selector for URL. And I will click the Insert button and specify the expression HTTP dot request dot URL dot path. And we will use unique paths as our counter or the object to track when determining our rate selection. I'll click the Create button. And next, I'll create a limit identifier. This will determine how many of those to count over a period of time. So limit identifier by URL, and the selector will be the URL selector that I chose earlier. We will go by request rate, and we will go with a threshold of three requests within 10 seconds, and click the Create button. Now that we've established the limit identifier, the next thing to do will be to create a responder policy to track how many requests for specific URLs have come in and determine whether we have crossed that rate limit. So to do that, we'll go down to the responder and we will first of all make sure that we have a responder action to present. We'll click the responder action, responder action uh, over limit. And the type I will respond with an HTML page and the HTML page has been loaded earlier or imported earlier. So I'll select that. And with the status code of 200, normally that's the status code of OK, and that's fine. But I will go ahead and include a reason phrase uh, over the rate limit. I could leave that as a status code of OK if I don't really want to disclose what exactly is going on, but this will match the error page that will be displayed. With that responder action, I now move to creating the responder policy. And I'll click the Add button here. And my responder policy is over the limit. And the action will be the one that I defined earlier. And the expression will be the sys.checklimit string. And I'll put in the name of my selector, or my limit identifier, rather. Yeah, it was li by URL. And we'll click the Create button. Oh, but we do need to put that in quotation marks because it is a literal string. There we go, and we're looking for the name of that. So we'll click the Create button. And finally, to test this, we'll need to bind it to a test server. So I'll go to my Policy Manager and select a load balancer that I can test with. And I will click to select the policy and bind it and select and bind it and done. Next, I'll navigate to that. And there it is. And within 10 seconds, if I try to load the page, one, two, three. The fourth time around, my rate, my request has been blocked by that rate limiting policy. In this video, we've demonstrated how to configure the rate limiting feature of App Expert.